next thing that I want to go into is a single leg X guard entry. It's something I've incorporated into my game a lot. Um, it's something that I, I think is a really successful guard for a smaller person because you are isolating a part of their body and you're also able to get underneath their hips. Um, so Stefan, if you actually want to go ahead and set up. So before I get into a lot of detail about how we're going to get into the single leg X guard, I do want to talk about something because what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch the sides here. I'm going to ask Stefan to go on my opposite side. So I've been performing techniques to one side for most of this uh, t series so far. And the reason why I switch sides is because a lot of the times we think we're supposed to be learning everything 50-50. But when I started training with Marcelo Garcia, he introduced a new concept, which was kind of interesting to me. And that was he likes to do certain moves to certain sides. So he believes in a lot of ways that if you perform something consistently to one side, you have a much better chance of executing it because you're spending more time practicing. Whereas if you spend 50% of your time going to each side, you might have a 50% execution rate. Now people can debate that. Um, but for myself, it's actually worked out really well. So I have a particular entry that I like to use to the single leg X card that I do with my left side. I won't necessarily do it with my right. All right? But you have different answers for the I have different answers for the right side, and, and we'll go into that as well. So for the left side, when we think about starting out here, again, this idea of waiting for your partner to enter into your zone, right? This is really close for me. So before I let Stefan get this deep, I want to have my hands out ready to block. So when Stefan takes a step, I've already got his knee stopped. Okay? This prevents him from getting so close that I can't really get in. Now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and swing my foot directly in front of his shin. So we're kind of crossed right here. When I get this close, I want to move myself closer to him and actually lock his leg towards me. So now I've tucked his leg and locked it against my body. From this point in, I'm actually going to go ahead and swing under. And when I swing under, I'm going to swing deep. And I'm actually going to load Stefan's leg on top of my body, just like this. So you guys can see just from there that his balance already got offset from me pulling him over me like that. A lot of ways, it's not expected, right? People are thinking, why would you just pull somebody on top of you? But the idea is that I'm going to swing my leg through and pull it up on his hip. So let's look at this position a little bit closer and in slow motion because it is difficult to understand if you've never seen it before. When you're playing a single leg X guard, you're basically looping your hips through your partner's legs and one leg is coming out and trapping on top of the hip. When I come here, some of you guys may be saying, oh, well, that's a knee reap, right, for those of you that compete. The idea here is you need to be careful to keep your toes out and you're gonna use the pelvis as a ledge for your heel to hold on to. Yeah, it's sitting right in here, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, with my knees, I wanna make sure that my knees aren't pointed away from me, but that they're pointed in the same direction as his. Knees are pinched together, my hips are high, my hand is not just hanging out, I wanna go ahead and grab behind my hamstring. This makes a nice little pocket for Stefan's foot, but I have a firm grip on it. If I'm over here, he can post and move his foot around, right? That's not good. <laughs> so, from this position, when you're thinking about how to lift your hips up, this goes back to our drill where we talked about making leg triangles, right? I want to lead with my hips. I don't want to lead with my legs. If I lead with my hips, it ensures that my knees and the rest of my body are going to come up and wrap around Stefan's leg properly. Right? So now that I'm here, I've trapped his leg. I'm going to take my hand, trap my hamstring, and now I have a good firm grip to begin thinking about sweeping. For Stefan, this is a bit of a difficult position because I've sort of isolated this leg, right? A lot of the times your partner may reach down and try and grab your lapel in order to try and stabilize themselves. This is where we can also use a stripping of the grips. We come here and you lift up, right? There's no reason why you can't do that. I still don't want him to stabilize even though I'm on the bottom starting to play my game. So I've got a couple of questions for you. When we start out with the instep to instep position and you uh, come in close and you fall back, aren't you worried about me steering my bigger, heavier, stronger knee through your chest? 
Not so much because I'm not just pulling you directly on top of me, right? If you notice when I start to swing through, I actually come in at quite a deep angle, so I force your body to move with me. As a result, your base, your hand's gonna go out to the side and mostly the weight's gonna go into your hand. They're not gonna go here, they're gonna go here. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. I don't wanna carry them, again, it's like the butterfly sweep. I don't wanna go straight backwards. I wanna dive under. So now, the weight is in your hands, not in your legs, right? This makes your leg light enough that I can come up. So you fall, you kick, and then you clamp your legs. Right. So a three-part movement. Now to a lot of people, they're gonna see this position, they're gonna go ankle lock. Yeah. So you're trying to ankle lock. But you're not actually, that's not your primary focus, is it? No, my primary focus here is I'm looking for a sweep. Okay. okay? I wanna set myself up into an advantageous position where I can get on top. Um, there was actually a competition, uh, I think it was the World Championships of uh, Nogi last year, where I assumed this position on my opponent and the commentator started saying, oh, Emily keeps going for this uh, ankle lock hold, ankle lock hold, and they set it for a few minutes. And it was funny when I watched the playback, because I was like, actually, that's not what I'm doing at all. I'm setting it up for something entirely different. But we're going to get into more detail with that soon.